Hi guys! Today we're making the most basic almond cheese. It's a spreadable mild cheese with a bit of tang and a subtle musky kind of goat cheesiness to it, but totally vegan of course. Really nice on fresh French bread, but we're actually going to be using it for a couple more complex, stronger cheeses later in the series. Start by soaking your almonds. I have two cups of raw almonds. Dump them into a large jar and fill her up with fresh water. Make sure that jar is large enough for the almonds to expand. They will almost double in volume. Let your almonds soak for 8 hours or overnight. You can cap it too so nothing else gets in there. In the morning, drain out the water and get the skins off your soaked almonds. I just pinched the skins and they usually come right off. If the skins are stubborn, you can fill the jar with hot water and immediately drain, but careful not to burn yourself. Now the skins should come off easily. If you find some discolored almonds, remove them and just toss them out to the compost bin or something. Now rinse and drain the almonds one more time. Put that in your blender, add a pinch of salt and just enough rejuvelac to help your blender blend. For me, I used about a half cup of rejuvelac. If you use less or more, it doesn't really matter. Just add enough liquid for the blender to do its job without dying. We can always drain the excess water later. Now give it a taste. It will be bland. It just tastes like almonds at this point. Then cover it and let it ferment at room temperature for a day or two. How long depends on your home's ambient temperature and your taste. Use a clean utensil as a taster and don't double dip. After it's gotten pretty tangy, you can salt to taste and just eat it. Add some herbs, spices, or nutritional yeast to round up the flavor. Or use this as a base in other cheeses. I have a couple of recipes coming up that will involve this basic almond cheese, so make sure you're subscribed. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and share it with all your cheese-loving friends. Bye for now!